Hey everyone, so let's move on to my next photo. This was in the Bamboo Gardens and at the Fullerton Arboretum. And so this is a pretty cool photo, so I'm gonna go ahead and start editing. The crop I like, I think, um, you know, looking up, it's kind of hard to know exactly what's in the middle. So using this crop tool, you can kind of see what's exactly in the middle of your frame. So maybe I will just crop it in just a little bit, um, just to make sure that the middle of this what I'm focusing this these trees where they kind of converge is right in the middle of the image I don't want to crop too much because what's in focus is actually on the edge and I don't want to crop out too much of that but something like that I think makes it a little bit more interesting and having these bamboo shoots kind of come out of the corners on each side is is really nice then I'm just going to play a little bit with the white balance I was shooting with the the shadow in sh in the shade white balance preset and I think it was a little bit warm so I'm just going to drop down the warmth to a little bit more blue and I can play around with the tint to see what it looks like um, but I think the tint is fairly good so I'm just going to leave that exposure just maybe going to bring it up just a little bit contrast again I don't use this contrast slider I like using the highlight shadows whites blacks sliders and then the tone curve so I'm just going to bring up the shadows a bit bring down the highlights bring in just a little bit more of that information that's lost in the overexposed parts of the image and then for this one I'm just going to bring down the blacks quite a bit and bring up the whites a little bit I don't mind losing some of the whites being overexposed I just want some of the highlights in that range to be able to be seen clarity this is something for this photo let's just see what it looks like if I really crank that up it looks kind of cool I'm more and more not a fan of really high clarity it just looks a little too fake to me so I just usually bump it up to around 10 vibrance something like this might look good for this image let's just compare saturation versus vibrance. Vibrance is more of a smart filter that increases a lot of the greens and blues. It doesn't increase a lot of the yellows of an image because uh, especially with people, it looks weird when yellows and reds are get more saturated uh, because it's skin tones that look really wonky. But for an image of just nature, just saturation is generally a good thing to increase just a little bit. Now I'll just play with the tone curve to see what this looks like just to increase the saturation just a bit or the contrast that is rather. And I always like to just kind of reset and just see what it looks like with these effects that I've added to see if I'm if I'm doing too much because it's kind of easy to go too far with some of these effects. So I don't want it to look unnatural. So I'm just going to drop that saturation just a little bit. Down here, I'm just going to increase noise reduction like I did with the previous image to 25. That seems to work good for me. And then let's just see what this enable profile corrections for the lens will do. So I'll just click that. It knows what lens I'm using because it was a smart lens and it just knows I was using my Canon 24 to 70. So what this does, it kind of just reverses the distortion that is happening from the lens so you can see if I click it on and off it kind of flattens it out this is actually what is a more natural looking image and that's with the lens it kind of bends the edges some people like that for this photo I think I'm going to turn that on and if you do add vignetting to this you actually see that it vignettes the edge of your lens just a bit but I'm going to use the post crop vignetting, which allows more control over the type of vignetting you add post crop. So with this image, because we are like converging into the center of an image, I will add a little bit of a vignette. I don't like adding vignette for all of my photos, but I will for this one as well. And just a little bit, though, something like that. And let's just check it out from there to there you know it's not crazy editing and that's what I'm a fan of I'm just gonna decrease this clarity to zero I don't like the way that it looks with the clarity and just maybe increase the saturation back up a little bit 
Let's play with the white balance just a little bit just to see what looks a little bit more natural. Uh, you know, adding a little bit of greens to something like this is fine just because um, it it's a picture of nature, so it should be green. You don't want to make it unnatural. And one way I can just add green to the image itself is to the green parts of the image is by going to this saturation under HSL. And if I use this tool that allows me to click where the color that I want to increase saturation of, or I can use these sliders, but let me just find that green that I want to increase saturation of. And I can do that. Click on your image and drag up or down. And you can see that these bars are increasing or decreasing. If I want to get rid of all the saturation for the greens and the yellows, you can see that it really affects this image. So something like that looks pretty good. Um, so let's just reset it. Let's click done, reset from there to there. I actually like it a little bit warmer, something like this and a little less saturated. So it's again, just going kind of back and forth, seeing what you like from there to there. And I think that's pretty good. So that's this photo. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll move on to the next one.